What's up guys, it is Bucket Mouth Bass back here again today and only the people that watch me in Texas will understand the Whataburger craving I just had. I just went and picked myself up some lunch. But anyways, the point of today's video is I'm going into Academy Sports and Outdoors and I'm gonna show you guys the top three worst fishing rods on the market today and why you should stay away from these three brands. And if y'all disagree with me, please let me know by going down in the comments and telling me why you disagree agree but if you like these kind of videos please let me know down in the comments or by leaving a like as well and if y'all have not subscribed go down hit that subscribe button and bell so you do not miss any future videos like this here in the future but I will see y'all inside of the store all right guys i am in the store now and like i already said today i'm gonna be giving y'all the top three worst brands of casting rods or fishing rods in general in my own opinion like i already said today's video is going to be controversial and some of you guys are going to disagree with me if y'all disagree with me go down in the comments and let me know why you disagree with me this is just my opinion keep that in mind all right, starting off with number three here today, and keep in mind, this is all the rods in my opinion. Number three is gonna be Berkley. Their rods, I do not like their rods at all. I'm sure some of you guys that watch my channel actually use these rods, but in my opinion, Berkley rods are really low quality. Obviously, they're not too pricey as well, but just in my opinion, this is one of the worst brands of rods you can get but they are not the worst in my opinion but i mean come on guys what is this this cork is just completely disgusting it's horrible to hold on to and berkeley doesn't just put that on this i'm holding the berkeley lightning rod here they do this on a lot of their rods they put this really disgusting and horrible cork on their rods i hate holding on to this i would hate to hold on to this all day and my dad actually has a berkeley rod and it has this same disgusting cork and just in my opinion i really don't like that. Then moving on to the weight of this pole, it's really heavy and bulky and I would just not want to have to hold on to this thing all day when it comes to this horrible grip and just the sheer weight of this rod. This rod I'm holding is only $40 but still in my opinion this made number three because it's just I just don't like it in my opinion. It's really heavy. The handles are horrible to hold. Another feature I hate about Berkley rods is that they come with these big ginormous guides on them. I absolutely hate that. And when I'm using a Berkley rod, I cannot cast very accurately because of that, because the guides are just so huge. I wish they would make the guides a little bit smaller, put a nicer grip on here, and make the rods a little bit lighter. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on today to number two on the top three worst brands of fishing rods. Some of you guys are gonna get mad about this one because I know some of y'all use this brand, but number two, I have to go with Shakespeare. I absolutely hate Shakespeare, guys. I cannot stand Shakespeare. Somehow, they found a way to make this rod even more heavy and bulky than the equivalent Berkeley rod. I'm holding the Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2. This rod is $40 and this thing feels like a brick in my hands. I don't know how they managed to make it this heavy. And again, the guides on this rod are super big. They're even bigger than on Berkeley rods. So in my opinion, that's really annoying. Again, if y'all disagree with me and you actually like Shakespeare, please go down in the comments and let me know why you like Shakespeare. But in my own opinion, I really dislike Shakespeare for $40 you should be able to get a little bit lighter rod and the guides do not need to be huge they are completely gigantic and you are not going to be able to cast accurately with that just in my own opinion now moving on to the grips this rod comes with the grips they are made out of EVA foam so they're a little bit nicer than the Berkeley one but in my opinion this is this EVA foam is super rough and uncomfortable just to the touch so I would hate to hold on to this thing all day and keep in mind this rod is actually more heavy than the Berkeley rod so it's really annoying with this annoying grip along with the sheer weight of the rod it's going to be really annoying in my opinion to fish with this thing all day and then along with those gigantic guides it's just really annoying in my opinion and I really dislike Shakespeare rods for that. All right so moving on to the fishing rod brand I hate the most 
and dislike. Number one is gonna have to be ducket fishing rods, guys. I completely do not like these rods, but a lot of the features on this rod I actually like, like the skeletonized frame right here of the rod itself. You can really feel that blank, and these rods are actually super sensitive, and the EVA foam is actually pretty comfortable in my opinion, and the guides on this thing are pretty solid too in my own opinion. The reason this is number one is because ducket rods are always breaking. I have been fishing with friends who have had ducket rods, and they have broken while I was out there with them before I even started this channel to be honest and I've heard horror stories about these rods guys I would stay clear of these I have no idea why these rods are always breaking they're just super brittle if Ducket could fix that problem and actually make their rods more durable and sturdy and make them to where they don't always break for some reason these would actually be very solid rods like I was saying I like a I like a lot of features on these rods and this rod I'm holding right now the Ducket Silverado is a hundred bucks it's super light it's super sensitive it's nice to hold on to it's a good quality rod except for the fact that this thing is probably gonna break on you at some point if you guys missed the video where I boat flipped an almost four pound fish I'll leave a link up to that right now I for sure would have broken a ducket rod if I was using this thing out there so in my opinion these are just horrible rods because of that they are super prone to breaking and I've heard horror stories about these things and I have seen these things break in person so I stay clear of ducket rods like I was saying if ducket could make their rods more sturdy and durable they would have some of the best rods in the fishing market but because they're always breaking and not durable at all that's why ducket made number one here on today's list but now I'm gonna go outside and give y'all my final thoughts and impressions over today's video Alright guys, it's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. So in my opinion, the worst three fishing rod brands on the market today, Shakespeare Rods, Berkeley Rods, and Ducket Rods. And obviously Ducket made the list at number one because they are not inexpensive rods and they are always breaking. There's horror stories all over YouTube, guys. Don't just take my word for it. There's a bunch of videos of people breaking their Ducket Rods, whichever brand it is. If they can make their rods a little bit more sturdy and durable they would be some of the best rods on the market because they're super sensitive and lightweight but they always break and are not durable at all and then Shakespeare and Berkeley made the list because just in my own opinion I know some of you guys are gonna disagree again go down in the comments and let me know if you do disagree but they are very low quality rods and not very sensitive in my own opinion but thank y'all so much for watching and if y'all have not subscribed go down and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything here in the future